everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and this is the last in our Pillow Palooza series before we do our drawing for this wonderful tapered corner ruler. If you have not entered, make sure to follow the link below. Any comment will automatically enter you into the drawing. We will do it next week in July. So make sure to comment so you could possibly win this ruler. So in the last series, part of our series, the pillow we're going to do today is a boxed corner zippered pillow. So the difference, this is one that we have done before, the envelope back. A boxed, you see how it has more of a definition on the bottom, kind of stands by itself. It's perfect if you want like more of a cushion look, especially for the back of a chair, whereas your throw pillow just throws up against whatever you're putting against. And this pretty much stands on its own. So again, we are doing a boxed corner zippered pillow today. So let's get started. All right, we are doing another 18 inch form. Um, so we are going to make sure that our case is a finished 16 inch. So if you're using a half inch seam allowance, we are going to cut two pieces that are 17 by 17, which I've already done. You can see it here and let's go ahead and do what we need to do to get this ready to sew. So here we have our two pieces that are put right sides together and we're going to go ahead and taper two of these corners. Because we are doing a box on the bottom, we're not going to taper those, but the top ones we do not want dog ears, so we're going to use our tapered corner ruler to eliminate that. Flip it over, do the other side. So we're lining up the straight edge here and the straight edge here. And removing that bulk. Now we have two tapered corners. On the bottom, we are going to box this. So we are going to cut out basically a square so that we'll use that later on to match up when we are doing our boxing. So we want to eliminate an inch. If you want a bigger boxing, you are going to do larger. So we're gonna use our Choco liner here. I think it's about time to put some more chalk in my Choco liner. On both sides. One inch. And now we are going to cut those out. We are doing both layers at one time. All right, we have that removed in our corners. Now we're going to get ready to insert our zipper. So right here is where our zipper is going to go. I already have a zipper picked out. We're not gonna see anything but the coils, but it's pretty much the fabric's gonna butt up against each other, so you're really not gonna see anything. So this is where our zipper is going to go. We need to go sew our half inch seam allowance here first before we put in our zipper. Go ahead and put some clips on this so that it stays lined up in case we have one of those shifty fabrics. And so keeping those edges lined up, we are sewing a half inch seam and we are lengthening our stitch as well, and you'll see why in a minute. Thank you. 
it. And now we need to go over to our iron and press that seam flat. So the first thing we're going to do is press the back of our zipper. The coil is on the front. We do not want to press from the front because we do not want to melt our coil. So we're going to press from the back on the zipper tape. So our zipper is pressed and now we are going to open that seam that we were talking about. That is nice and flat. using a delicate fabric, you will definitely want to use a press cloth so you don't scorch your fabric. We are using an upholstery fabric today for this project. Now it is pressed nice and flat. Let's cool down a minute. And we are going to get our basting tape. This is an eighth inch double-sided basting tape. We do have this on our website, www.beyondfabricink.com. It is my favorite thing to use when putting in a zipper. So we are putting it right along the edge here on both sides. it just the paper part and you'll see it's a little shiny that is where the adhesive is and we need more dowels there we go perfect now what we need to do this is a coil zipper, not an invisible zipper. So the coil will be facing down towards your seam and you're going to line up this coil with the middle of your seam there. So again, we are matching up this coil with the middle of our seam. We're just following along. The basting tape is going to hold it in place. Get this almost. Now we are going to go back to the machine and we are going to use our foot to line up right here along this seam here and we're going to stitch on this side and then we're going to stitch on that side. So with our foot lined up with this line right here, our seam, we're going to stitch first to the right side and then to the left side. Start at the beginning. side sewn and now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Now 
we have it sewn on both sides and we're going to take our seam ripper and open that up so we have our zipper. So we have our seam ripper and this is a really cool seam ripper. This is made by Grouchies here in town. A deer shed his antler just for us. He made this out of a deer antler. Isn't it cool? No deer were harmed, I promise. So we're gonna take, and we're just going right down. And that's why we used a longer stitch length too, so that it would tear more easily. Now we have it opened up and ta-da, there's our zipper right there. Now we need to put our zipper somewhere in the middle and we are going to sew straight across here and across here so that we have a stop to it and so that the zipper does not go off. Let's go do that. Okay, so later on we will have to go back and remove all these little threads. Tape works really well, lint roller, you can roll it against and all those little threads from where we seam drip will be removed. But we're just gonna go right to the edge here and sew across our zipper so that we have a stop and so that our pool does not come off when we go to connect our pillow together. So we're just gonna sew across a couple of times. I am using a larger needle since I'm doing upholstery weight fabric. I have a 16 in here right now. So now we need to sew across the other side. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy stiletto here that Mr. Grouchy also makes and use that to help feed it through. Perfect. Now you can cut off that excess part of your zipper because we do not need it. And as long as your zipper pull is in here, you're good. So now we have our zipper inserted into the bottom of our pillow and we are going to fold right sides together. We're going to put some clips and pins in and we are going to sew starting from here all the way around to here. Just lining up our edges. We have it all pinned. Now using your seam allowance you had calculated and the construction of your pillow, half inch, three eighths, whatever you had decided, that is what you're gonna use and sew your pillow. clips or pins when you get there. Now remember these tapered corners are not rounded. You will come up, make a stop, needle down, pivot, I need to go up one more stitch, pivot, and keep sewing. So you still have a point. Needle 
down, fill it, and keep stuck. around our pillow now we need to do our boxing so we need to first go over to the ironing board and press that seam flat from the side so it's just right near the bottom that we need to make sure that is pressed flat because we are going to have that help us match up our seams go to the other side So basically what we need to do is line up this seam here with this seam. And then you're going to sew straight across. When you sew straight across, that is going to give your boxing. So lining that up here. to press one more time. And then we're going to clip it. So again, this lined up with that. Go to the other side. one's a little bit easier because it is closed. So this seam and that seam will line up together. So right here you see it, those seams together and Clip it. Now we're going to go sew straight across. I'm putting another pin down here, making sure that those seams are lined up inside. Let me shift over a little. And the first thing we're going to do is just sew right over the zipper, check it, make sure the placement is good because we don't want to have to unrip all of it. Let's check it. We look good. So now sew straight across. My foot is lined up with the edge of the fabric here, and I'm sewing several times across. I'm going gently over the zipper coils because we do not want to break a needle. I'm going to trim these threads here. So now we have one boxed corner. And there you are. So 
I've got a string. Now, there you are, one box corner. Do the same with the other side. So I'm pinning on each side of the seam to make sure it doesn't move, especially on this side since the zipper is open. stitch make sure we're lined up here looks like it stayed in place so now sew across and we are doing this several times because our zipper will be going right up to this. We do not want it going past it. Trim your threads. Remove your pens. And we are matched up, so all is good. Before we flip the whole pillow, though, you need to take and clip your corners where it's tapered because we want to remove that bulk so when we turn it, we can actually get a corner. So now turn it right side out. We're going to poke our corners here with our stiletto, make sure we get a nice point. There we go. It's looking good. And the same with where our boxing is. We're making sure that that is popped out. So we are boxed and we are going to take our pillow that magically came to us. And we are going to stuff it inside. So again, this is an 18 by 18 pillow form, and our finished case is a 16. So I'm going to take that pillow form, make sure I fill in my corners up here. down. So now he is hidden in there. And ta-da! One boxed corner pillow. Okay, I'm going to get him a stand. Ta-da! Thank you for joining us for another pillow tutorial. This does end our Pillow Palooza series for now. You have until July 1st if you have not already entered for the ruler giveaway. So make sure to follow the link below if it is before July 1st. Any comment will automatically enter you in. And good luck. Join us again for another Make It Monday. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and of course our website, www.beyondfabricinc.com. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you.